um, the first kill that I ever got was in on that Iraq deployment, and it's when we just decided, because um, we were still in between the nods up or even look under them, white light fast. We said we're gonna go slow. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go in quiet. We're not gonna blow the door. We're gonna pick the lock. We figured out ways to break the glass quietly and open it and just go inside. Wake them up. You know, catch them when they're sleeping. See how many guys you can touch while they're sleeping. We we'll, we'll, we started having competitions. How many Al Qaeda guys can you check for a suicide bomb and then wake them up by saying shh? And then watching a grown man shit his pants. That was one of the greatest things ever. But one of the nights we were going into this thing, we had a we had a lane. Uh, a hallway and like the first time we're trying this quiet and we're walking it this al-qaeda dude hops out he's got an ak-47 he could have killed every single one of us but he couldn't see us so we hop back in the room and now we okay there's shit we had a guy with us andy who is a special boat service guy and sbs and brits are the fucking best there there is f- funny or if not funnier than we are, but I compare them like we're the normal keys, they're the sharp keys on a mm-hmm. piano. Like it sounds good, but it's, it's a little <laughs> off. Um, he had a cloud of death over him. The other Brits said, you're going with Andy. He, he gets in fights. Like he just, it follows him. You will get, I'm like, you're going to get in a fight. And so Andy happened to be with us. And then our, one of our guys goes through, we clear the room and one of our guys, his first kill blasts this guy, splits him wide open. And then we're kind of looking over there and Andy, who's been in fights since the invasion, we're like, Andy, can you go check that guy? He walked over with a white light and goes, oh, he's fuck, mate. <laughs> so at this point now, that they heard us shoot inside. Um, we got the D-boys hitting another target. Our snipers are going hot. So uh, myself and, and one of my guys were like, well, let's, we got to get out and, and get into that. I, this is, these are our first kills. This actually turned out to be the sniper who initiated the fire to rescue Captain Phillips from Smalley Pyres. We got our first kills together. We went outside and we did this cross pan that we'd always been working on. Like if, if you're on this side, you cover this way, he covers this way. And then you wave and move or whatever. So we're out here, these two dudes pop up like pepper poppers. Like, bow, 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 bow. So we get our first two kills and I'm like, shit, I just killed that guy. And he goes, yeah, I just killed that guy. I go, okay, what do we do now? And he goes, maybe we should try one of those bounding things. <laughs> <laughs> and then it kind of sinks in, and then that's, that's another. You know, we finished that off. We, we killed a bunch of dudes. We got that was our first major fight in Iraq.